What is the creepiest guy you've ever met? This one guy actually asked me to go to a sex party with him. And then we were standing on his balcony after he asked that, which I said, no, I wasn't okay. into, and told me about how someone had just jumped off the balcony. It was very scary. Damn. So <laughs> it was a first date too. So I was like. He uh, came to my home and stole my things, stole money. And when I came to sleep with him, I woke up another day and I don't have my money. Usually it happens the other way. The girl steal the guy's money. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What is the creepiest guy you've ever met? You. Uh, I literally have talked to you for 10 seconds. I don't know. I don't think it's that creepy to ask a question. What about yourself? I've seen some people be roofing. Like at a bar? Did you like tell someone or what do you do? No, I mean like people are ready roofing. Like drunk. One time I hooked up with someone and he ran into the closet to get a water bottle before he ejaculated. Why did he need that water bottle so bad? I have no idea. I have. I could not answer one of your questions because I don't know. Did you ever like ask him about it afterwards? No, I never talked to him again. That's, Please don't do that. That's interesting. So he was like, before I bust, I need to get. No, he, he like ran away, and I was like, whoa. Oh, did he come back? Yes, he came back. Uh, and I was like, no, I'm gonna go now. He like made it seem all casual. It wasn't casual. Don't do that. Just don't do that. I mean. So when you're about to bust, don't run don't away. Don't get a water bottle and come back. She won't like that. What's the creepiest guy that you've gone on a date with? I was minding my own business i was reading a book and there was a guy sitting in another chair actually with a girl as soon as the girl leaves the pool he approached me and he goes can i massage your feet and i'm like excuse me he's like yeah can i massage your feet i said no that's creepy oh wow and his came back was i'm american yeah like i don't give a fuck what'd you do get your toenails done that day or something like <laughs> were they glistening or what no he was just creepy you will have said it to any woman with probably no fingers okay I I don't know, like old men, or they follow you around. Yeah. So what do you ultimately do? How do you get rid of them? Just go to the bathroom. Yeah, and then you got them wet. These old geezers pop their Viagra, and then they're just, <laughs> they're just like, I'm gonna get some young, young uh, first girl. My husband. <laughs> Your husband? Yeah. Your ex-husband, I assume. No, he's still. Oh, okay. Well, yesterday I was being followed. I was walking Damn. my dog. How long did that go for? Twenty minutes. How did you eventually get rid of him? I got next to somebody who had a bigger dog than I did, so wow. he said he would get scared. Hi, lady in. Cute cat. Good question for you. Wait, it's because I'm Jewish? So I'm Jewish too, bro. Do for the no, tribe. No, no, You're not really Jewish. I'm Russian. I'm Russian. I'm Russian. I'm Russian. What is the creepiest guy you've ever met? Uh, a guy that I was going out with recently. He was on a stalker. How long did that stalking last? Like a month. How did you get rid of him ultimately? I had to go to him and like block him everywhere. So he was like showing up to your house and shit? Yes, to, to my work and everything. He'd be like playing the guitar and be like, no. I miss you, Delilah. He would make like fake accounts and like stalk me. Oh, damn. Everywhere. Well, I work in a psych ward, so okay. they just say things to me. They told me they saw knives around me and bodies. Are you for real? <laughs> yes. Have you thought about changing your occupation? That sounds wild. Oh, I love it. Okay. All right. Uh, 10 years ago, I met a guy. Uh, it was pouring the night that we went out. So he walked me home at the end oh. of the night. I was still living in New York. Okay. He had like a really big umbrella. A couple days later, I get a call from my building's front desk saying, oh, your food's on the way up. And I hadn't ordered any food. And I was really creeped out. It was him? To this day, my neighbor and I still think that it was him trying to get into the building. He give like those stalker vibes? Not at first. On our date. He kept like dropping things and then in retrospect, I kind of put it all together. Oh, he was telling me he was really good at like all this data stuff and data mining and uh, that he was really good at getting information on people. He was saying that he has so many friends that live in the area and so he knows how to get into any building here. He knows all the front desk oh, yeah. people okay. all the buildings. Uh, turns out he had like four cats. So just adding to the creepy vibe. Yeah. This guy who just kept touching me for everything, he's just like, I, like, I would cough like, are you good? Are you okay? Are you good? This is my impression of that. I would like shift to myself in the seat. still working? And he's like, oh my God, are you good? Like, he's gonna catch me. I'm like, I'm literally sitting. Oh, so you're like chilling with her and then? A group of friends. And I shift my weight and he's like, oh, are you good? Was like, this guy part of your group of friends or he's a rando? Co-workers. What was your ultimate reaction? How do you like put an end to it? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. He just keeps finding excuses to touch me and I'm like, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> what is the creepiest guy you've ever met? Might have been somebody who was a cop. So he was like, what? I want to have another guy fuck you in front of me? We weren't yet dating, but he told me he would like to see that, even if we get married. What was your reaction? I'm Caribbean, and I come from a conservative family, so I was like, um, that's a bit much. They're like, hey, you're a little bitch, so I'm yeah. going to pass. So to me, that was it. Hey, coffee girl, quick question for you. 
What is the creepiest guy you've ever met? Really high. Too high for this. You're too high? Yeah. There's no such thing as too high. Okay, I've met someone who they were cute, but then they got closer and it was clear they hadn't showered in a very long time. How much of a turn off is that? One from ten? Like ten. Okay. Ten out of ten. And also well, did not have a bed frame. Like, come on, dude. Well, you were sorry. like in your Take 30s. a shower. Yeah. A while ago, like last year or two years ago, there was this guy that walked around and just touched women while he was going by. Like slap your ass or something? Yeah. Or? And uh, like he grabbed the woman. So I walked by him once and he grabbed me and he was arrested. Hey, what was your reaction when he grabbed you. I was like, what the fuck? What did you do to me? That's a very interesting dating strategy. It's like, hey, I'm going to skip the part where I like go up and talk to you and like make you laugh. I'm just going to go straight to the part where I grab your ass and run away. Right. Yeah. What is the creepiest thing a guy has done? I got chased by a man. He was really? trying to grab me. It was like outside of my house okay. at like one in the morning. Okay. Don't yeah. do that again. No. What about you? You seem like you got something awesome. My ex wanted to put his gun in my pussy. Like he okay. wanted to fuck me with it. You might get an infection. I wouldn't recommend that. Yesterday, yeah? we were in our car. This guy was um, at the stop sign beside us, and he was like, hi, guys. And we're like, hi. And he's like, oh, do you mind if I take along? Or can I follow you? And we're like, sure, come. We thought he was joking. 15 minutes later, he's behind us in the parking garage. Yeah. And then he just kept following us into the parking garage. And Two like, hours later, there he was. Yeah, he's still with us. We went to so many places with him. We started meeting guys on the street, and like, he was with us still. And they're like, who is this guy? We're like. Whatever happened to him? Did you guys just ghost him? Did um, you? What? We went to the club and they told us that our booth was um, girls only. So really? he, had to, he had to stay in the rest of the club. And he oh, you had security with... removed him then, basically? No, not even. Like, he just yeah. sat in the club by himself and then he left. Oh my god, that's brutal. Well, like, we you? made his day. Yeah? But it was weird. But it was like an old man. I was in Baltimore doing like a summer camp. We were on a bus and he told the driver, like, don't stop, don't stop. Like, we were scared as fuck. We jumped off mm -hmm. the bus and when we got to the dorms, the security told us, like, we're looking for that guy. So you're on a bus and this random guy tells the driver not to stop. Uh -huh. Wow. I'm glad you survived. Yeah, I'm lucky. Yeah, that is pretty creepy. <laughs> what is the creepiest guy you've ever been on a date with? One time they say he said that he's been stalking me and looking at my feet pictures on Instagram. I think that was the creepiest thing ever. What was the context? Like, what, you were on a date with him or he just... Yeah, he said, hey, look, I know you. Like, let's go on a date. And I thought he was like a guy from high school. And then he brought in that he's been stalking my feet pics forever. Do you post feet pics on Instagram? No, just normal like, oh, pictures. So he's like zooming in. Zooming like, in. Like, I think that was a little bit creepy. What was your reaction when he said that? I was just very like, thank you, I guess. Like, I don't know what you're supposed to say to that.